Hello, this video will be the first one in the series. I will make Katya tutorial videos for beginners and non-beginners and show you a different modeling approach. I think everyone can learn how to model in Katia because it's not that hard. In these tutorial videos I want to show you how to create organized models, keep model tree simple and clean, have engineering look to models, cover some bad practice, increase your speed and more ways to do the same process. Fine. Let's start with our first model. Before we start with the modeling, let's cover some basic settings for the part design. We need to disable zoom on the model tree because it is so irritating during the process. We need to enable axis creation for new part because we will model with that axis. Now we can start with our model and create a new part. I prepared one simple 3D model for this video as you can see on the right side. Before you start to model in Katia, it's good to take some time and think about how to do it. How can you do it most efficiently? The main goal is to use as less as possible options to get it. This model is the first step in the model creation is sketch or 2D. We will use a position sketch instead of the standard one. There are a lot of advantages to it. We will try to cover it in some other video. You need to select a plane, point and line to create a position sketch. If you use the basic sketch option, it's perfect time to switch. Now when we are in sketch, we can combine two rectangles to get the wanted profile. Of course, there are a lot of ways how can you draw it. For example, using the profile tool is another way to do it. Let's fix our profile with the power of the trim tool. We need to define the previously created profile using constraint tool. When you use Katia commands, one click on the tool and use it once and double click on the tool and use it as many times as you want before you hit the escape key on the keyboard. So I will just make constraints to the created profile very quick. If you make a mistake you can always right click it to change or delete. We created all dimensions now so we need to input values from the picture. But we need to be careful because we are modeling only half. So we will divide 70 with 2 for example and so on. You can type mathematical operation in the CATIA input window like, like in this example. 70 divides with 2 or 20 divides with 2. Now we will enter all other values from the picture and let's clean it a little bit. We have finished our sketch, we can now go back to make solid from it. For that operation we will use the pet tool. Pet tool is the basic and at the same time very powerful tool for making 3D from the created sketch. You can do it by click on the properties or hitting alt plus enter on the keyboard. Changing name in the trees is important because it's easier to follow your tree and edit later if you need to. Now we can continue with our model. We can remove the slot from the side. The procedure is the same again. Make a position sketch and draw a profile. Again we, we are using a rectangle to create a profile in sketch. After that use again constraint tool to add dimensions to the profile. You can use the previously created path to connect with it. We will take dimensions from the picture again. Now we will use a second tool called pocket to remove material from the first pad. There is a lot of options on the pocket tool we will use up to last to remove material from the pad. 
When you use these options, it will remove all the material in the selected direction. And change the name again. Let's create a hole from the top. Everything is the same as before, use Catch and Pocket tool to get it. Create position sketch first, draw one circle inside and define the position with the constraint tool. Exit the sketch and use the pocket tool to remove material and change name. Now we need to create the ribs on the top, so we first go to sketch to draw a profile. I will draw just the middle line and use it the power of the pad. Don't draw if you don't need to. Use this whenever you can, because your sketches will be clean and easy to edit. We will add dimensions from the picture, in this case you need to calculate a little bit to get dimensions. Use the pet tool with the tick options to get a rib as you can see. We will create a chamfer on the edge of the previously created rib. First we need to calculate values from the chamfer. Run the chamfer tool and enter those calculated values. Use the measure tool to check your model. Let us draw the last slot in the model. Again, same procedure as before. To complete our model, let us use the mirror option for the other half of the model. Just select the middle plane and hit OK. Now you can test your model. Enter the first sketch and change some dimensions to see how it will update. If you constrain it well, it will update properly. Also you can go inside the pet tool and change values there and update again. This is all for this tutorial. I will try to create more of these in the future. If you have any model that you want me to model, please send me. Please like this video and subscribe. All videos will be on my website also.